longest day. So explain what that is. Uh, the longest day is basically a um, fundraiser for Alzheimer's Association. It's the long, it takes place during the longest day of the year, summer solstice, which is June 21st. And it's the same date every year. Uh, from sunrise to sunset, members of the, D of the DC are going to go out and do a different activity for each hour in honor of Alzheimer's, people who battle with it, people who have suffered from it, their families and themselves. That's cool. So, That's uh, awesome. We're raising at least $100 for each hour of time that we put towards our activities and we're already at $1,800 this year. That's really great. So yeah, it's, it's a big deal to us to raise money for is this Is this the second year you've done it, right? This is our second year, yeah. And last year, how much did you raise? Uh, 2,000, so yeah, we're hoping really to beat cool. that this year. Uh, the culture of good really has a profound impact on our employees, all of us together. Uh, this movement has really had an impact, I know, on the distribution center. And I wanted to find out kind of what are some of the things that you've noticed like as you've, because you're the one really engaging everyone in, the, in that department. Um, what kind of positives have you seen come out of doing this kind of thing? Uh, it's helped us learn how to interact with each other better on a daily basis when we're not just dealing with our job We actually learn how to deal as a team better. That's cool. Um, the teamwork back and forth is Clearer than it was before we started in culture good because we see each other as as our individuals and not just our department sure. It's not just okay. Yeah. If returns has an issue, well, that's a returns issue. It's Janet has an issue. So we all try to that's chip really in cool. and help it. It just kind of personalizes it. It brings you guys a common goal, something you're working towards. Yeah. And it helps, helps with communication a lot with us. What's your expectation for this year? You've raised 1800 What What's your expectation and what do you want to see out of this year, not just the money that you raise? Um, I'm looking for... Um, a closer bond between newer employees that didn't experience this last year and our older employees that have already gone through this once. Mm, that's cool. Um, it'll definitely help bring them into the fold because this is something that made a uh, was a big deal to a lot of us. Uh, a yeah. lot of people in the warehouse have had either a family member or a neighbor, someone they know who suffered with dementia or Alzheimer's, hmm. and it really affected them on a yeah. personal level. We've had a couple people with parents who had it, so it just shows that we all care about each other's struggles. So hoping for a big turnout. I'm really glad that Folkies, a local bar and grill in town, is very helpful with our fundraising attempts. They let us have our end of day celebration there every year. And, and that's like an know. after party. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. At, it's at the end of the, the 16 hours is you light glow sticks to continue the light throughout the night in memory of that's these cool. people. Yeah. And so you celebrate all the stuff you've done throughout the day, um, the lives of these people, and you don't let their light go out even though it's gone out inside of them. That's so, so cool. It's very, it's very emotional, it's very fun, um, and I'm just excited to see what everyone has to say about their experience this year. The difference we can make together makes all the effort that we put into it worthwhile. So do worthwhile work by doing worthwhile good. And that's really what's taken place in their department, and I'm encouraging that for every store and department out there. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.